Hi, last time, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to go through this recording real quick for you. Um, I'm under the TPBI accounting role. This is the role that Catherine and Ashley currently have. I don't believe you have it, so I'll double check with Tom and Ed to see if uh, you would also like to gain access to it. But just to go through the process, um, I'm going to start, um, you can start going by customers, sales, uh, enter sales confirmation, right? I'm going to start in here. I made a test. Test. Everyone in test, just to make it very clear. Everything's preset here. I put test here. Um, I'm going to put the 26th and then say it's going to come September 30th. Uh, and then the sales rep. We will, this is typically filled in automatically, but I will put in, for now, Scott, right? Location, one line. I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick um, just this. Let me find a good item, 168. Okay, put in there. And then we're going to say you're going to buy, I know this is not an accurate number, but just makes it easier to make it clear that this isn't a real sales order if it's ever looked at in the future. After we do that, we hit save. All right. Okay, this is great. So once we hit save, please notice that the sales confirmation and the purchase order is created automatically. Now we go into the sales transaction, right? And we hit the um, pro forma PO. We hit the pro forma PO. This is automatically going to generate this TPP number. So if we hit that, you see TPP number is in there now, right? Then we go in there, so that's all set up. And then we can see here that the purchase order to uh, TP Brands International, right? It's also set up, right? So that's good. That's exactly where we want it to be. Now that we finished that process, we would wait for the shipping advice and we would go in here and essentially once the shipping advice, they say, hey, actuality, we only have 40 or able to send. It says that that pop-up said that the purchase order is automatically going to update with the sales order. So that's good news, right? So that's 40. Now if we hit here. This number should have automatically. Oh, let's hit save. That's what happened. This purchase order should automatically update it as well. And then, so they're going to have to update this as well, right? Do this, update this to 40. Right, we hit save on this one as well. This is great. So we've done everything on our end. We got the shipping advice. So it's in the water. Now we need to begin the intercompany transaction part, right? And so we go to other transactions, manage company sales orders. Please take note that this number is... SO980 as shown here, right? And then right. we go in here, we fill in the requested information. This is a worldwide order, so it fills all that out. It's going to ask the location, we hit container, and then we scroll down to the bottom and we find the SO980. It's worth $4. We hit this, and then we do generate sales order. Right. right, so now you can see that the sales order has been created. And so we can see that this is the sales order to TP Brands Worldwide from import. And this is the purchase order, right? right. And then I also want to uh, give a quick frame point of reference. So this is the SO980. So if you were to wanted to see how it all links together, the sales order 
is connected here to the purchase order, right? This purchase order is connected here to this sales order, and this is the sales order to worldwide from international, and the sales order right here is connected to this purchase order, and this is what, uh, and this is to China, right? Right. This isn't actually what's sent to China, but this is what's in the system. What's being sent to China is the email pro forma PO button. The one thing I also wanted to mention here was that uh, this is the right one. This one right here. After we hit this pro forma PO button, we would typically also hit the email pro forma PO button, and this is when Alice would be emailed. Where well, I'm not going to press that because I don't want to send them a fake email, but um, a false order so they get spammed out but this is where it would happen as well now that we have that okay uh, we need to now receive the inventory into tp brands import right so right now it's on the boat technically it, it without receiving this it actually belongs to china but once we actually hit this receive button let me copy We hit the receive button. We can now receive the inventory. And right now the policy is to use the TPP number. So whenever it says lot number, we go over here and we hit, we type it in here, right? So this is me, is this is TP brands import receiving that, receiving it. I'm gonna put test here just to be safe. Hit save, right? Now, TP Brands Import actually has received the inventory. They have it in stock. Now they can fulfill their sales order to TP Brands Worldwide. Now we hit fulfill. It automatically populates it here, which is good. Now we hit save. I'm also gonna put test here. They fulfilled it. Excellent, excellent. Now the um, purchase order to TP Brands International. Now, so what just happened was TP Brands Import received the inventory. They owned it. Now they just fulfilled it. That means they just gave it to TP Brands Worldwide. Now TP Brands Worldwide has to receive it to, rec to represent the fact that they have actually received the inventory. And we're still doing a TPP number here. Go ahead and press save. Right. And now we can go. And now that TP Brands Worldwide has the inventory, they can now fulfill the order to test Amazon. Right. And you can see it fits here. And once they fulfilled it, they can now now they can now bill. Right, and now they can save. Now they can do and save it. And we're gonna do TP Brands Ocean. Save. And that is the whole process from start to beginning. They can do accept the payment. They can credit. Several options that they can do. But that is the process from the beginning. I hope that helps. Less. Uh, hope. Talk to you soon.